Children, join your hands and get ready for prayer. Let us say the prayer before class. O oh God, our Father, thank you for the world in which I live. Thank you for all the beautiful things in it, for all the interesting things in it, for all the useful things in it. Thank you for the life which you have given me. Help me today, O oh God, as I begin this day to concentrate on my studies. When I am studying, help me to study with my whole mind. When I am playing, help me to enjoy the games. Be with me throughout this day. Bless my parents, teachers and friends. And bless my school too. Amen. Let us say the Our Father slowly and meaningfully. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us say the protection prayer. The Lord our protector. I look to the mountains. Where will my help come from? My help will come from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let you fall. Your protector is always awake. The protector of Israel never dozes or sleeps. The Lord will guard you. He is by your side to protect you. The sun will not hurt you during the day, nor the moon during the night. The Lord will protect you from all danger. He will keep you safe. He will protect you as you come and go, now and forever. Amen. Saint Anthony, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Guardian angels, protect us. Providence of God, watch over us. Good afternoon, children. God bless you all. Children, today we are going to learn EVS lesson number 7, Our Village, Our City. This lesson we have learnt in the last class. Today again we will revise the lesson for better understanding. Children observe the picture carefully. Look at the picture and tell what are the things you see in this picture. We can see that there are bullock carts, trucks loading things, trucks loaded with things, bicycle, a boy is riding on the bicycle. Bus, primary health center, which is uh, which is a hospital in villages, are called a primary health center. Small houses in the villages. You can see farms. Also, Kacha Road, which is see the difference between the roads in villages and cities. Village roads are kacha road, whereas city roads, the highways, see how well it is constructed. Now let us move on to the next picture. That is, when we look at this picture, we can see that many tall buildings are there and many vehicles are crowded on the road. Children are playing on the park. We can see that everywhere traffic on the road. The population is more in cities compared to villages. And the houses here are big tall buildings. Whereas in villages, small houses. And in cities, tall buildings and apartments are there. When we observe these two pictures, we see that there is a lot of difference between villages and cities. We see that the grains, vegetables, fruits, flowers and all other things which are produced in villages are brought to towns with the help of the trucks, transport facilities which are available and also the things which are produced in cities like automobiles, 
toys bicycles vehicles clothes are produced in cities which are transported to villages with the help of the transport and communication facilities available the things which are produced in different places can be transported to different places earlier there was a big difference between the city and the village now this difference is reducing due to the facilities of transport and communication now let us read the lesson which of the things in these pictures are produced on a farm children observe these pictures in this pictures in these pictures we can see umbrella vegetables jacket bicycle vegetables and fruits which of these which of the things in these pictures are produced on a farm the vegetables and the fruits are produced on a farm where else can these things be obtained these things can be obtained in the market which articles in the picture are produced in a factory which things are produced in a factory children yes umbrella jacket jacket bicycle are produced in a factory where else can you find these articles where you can find these articles in the shops we can find these things for what purpose do we need these things we need these things for our day to day use we need umbrella during rainy season we need jacket during winter season to travel from one place to another children use bicycles which means of transport are used to move these goods to urban and rural areas yes some of these things are produced in villages like the vegetables and fruits are produced in villages and umbrella bicycle and jackets are produced in cities to transport these things from villages to cities and cities to villages the transport facilities are used like roadways are used to transport where the things produced in different places <coughs> grains vegetables milk etc come from villages bicycles toys books etc come from the city farming implements cloth medicines automobiles soaps glass light bulbs etc are made in factories factories are mostly situated near the city people living in both villages and cities use all these things thus rural and urban people are dependent on each other for their needs means of transport and communication are necessary to fulfill the needs of the people earlier there was a big difference between the city and the village now this difference is reducing the facilities available in cities are now becoming available in villages as well means of transport as man's needs increased he invented new means of transport earlier goods were transported by animals like bullocks elephants camels horses and donkeys next vehicles such as bullock carts horse carts were used then ships automobiles and trains were invented followed by aeroplanes thus transport became faster we see that in uh, olden days people used animals to transport things from place to place but animals cannot carry a lot of things so and and on the on those days the needs of the people were less so animals were used to carry things later people introduced people invented bullock carts and horse carts to carry little more things to play from place to place and later on as the needs becoming increased people invented automobiles ships trains etc compared to animals and bullock carts and horse carts these ships automobiles and trains are faster means of transport and also can carry a lot of things at the same time to different places later on people invented aeroplanes aeroplane is the fastest mean of tra means of transport which is used to transport things from place to place column 1 below shows various means of transport column 2 shows what they travel on make the correct pairs one has been done for you children 
See train moves on tracks. The first one is bullock cart. Bullock cart moves on kacha road, which is the second picture. Boat. Boat is a waterways which move on seas or on water. Bus. Bus moves on road. There is a one. There is one more road given, which is a pakka road on which bus and trucks move. Both move on pakka road. Aeroplane is the fastest means of transport which moves on air on the sky. Nowadays, transport facilities are available in most villages and cities. Study the map of your district to find out which transport facilities and which famous places are found there. Complete the activity based on the map given over leaf. Children, observe the map carefully. Given is the map of given here is the map of Brihan Mumbai, major roads and railways, and famous places. How do you know it is the map of major Brihan Mumbai, major roads, railways, and famous places? The name of the map is given on the right side top. So here it is written Brihan Mumbai, major roads, railways, and famous places. So when we read this map, when we observe this map, we can identify the major roads, railway stations and famous places of Brihan Mumbai. Before reading the map, first we should look at the index, index of the map. Where is the index? It is given in the right side corner. Index of the map is given in which different symbols and words are given. Caves. The first one is caves. The shape of caves are given. So when, when you look into the map, when you look for such shape, if you find such shape, that means it is cave. Fort, race course, famous and other places are given in a circle. Double pink color line is for main roads. Single pink color line is for other roads. They are not main roads, they are just other roads. And dotted line for monorail. Again, railways, a track symbol is given. Caves, black square is for cave. National park, a different symbol is given. Airport, aeroplane symbol is given for airport. Reclaimed land, all green color areas are reclaimed land, which is not used for any, anything. When we observe the map carefully, the map shows that there are different modes of transport used. In Brihan Mumbai, that is roadways, railways, and airways. These are the three modes of transport used in Brihan Mumbai. Important railway stations on the central rail railway, like Chhatrapati Shivaji Terminus, is given on the map. The other Kurla railway station is also marked. Famous tourist places, like Gateway of India, is marked on the map. Chhatrapati Shivaji Terminus, the Municipal Corporation of Greater Mumbai, Mani Bhavan, Shivaji Park, Nehru Planetarium, Siddhi Vinayak Temple, Haji Ali Darga, Mount Mary Church, Kaneri Caves, Gorai Beach and Essel World, Sanjay Gandhi National Park. These are the famous places which is given in the map. Mahalakshmi Race Course. Gorega Film City, Are Colony, Tulsi Lake, Bihar Lake, Elephanta Caves. There is an airport at Santa Cruz, Chhatrapati Shivaji Airport. It is also given on the map. Railway routes are also given. And many more important places are marked on the map. Children, observe the picture carefully and answer these questions. What is grandfather reading? Grandfather is re reading a newspaper. What is Thai using to find some information? Thai is using a computer to find information. What is grandmother watching? Grandmother, grandmother is watching television. Dada is listening to songs. What does he put in his ears to do this? Dada is listening songs with the help of earphone from his mobile. What is father using to speak to someone? Father is using a mobile to speak to someone. Who is at the door? What is the mother taking from him? There is a postman at the door and mother is collecting the letter from him. 
we commonly use these things like letters computers mobile phones newspapers tv music player etc all of these are used as means to send and receive information and messages all these are means of communication yes children when we look, observe the picture we see that all these people given in the picture are using different modes of communication to give and receive the message different modes of communication are shown in this picture man uses languages to talk to each other and to communicate his thoughts to other people the same language is spoken in different ways in different regions the pronunciation of the words changes with the region words from other languages enter our language it is influenced by other languages in this way different dialects of the same language form in different regions for example ahirani malwani varhadi are some dialects of the marathi language marathi is the state language of maharashtra one la one language is spoken in different ways in different regions of the world or different regions of the state or country we see that english english is spoken in a different way in india whereas it is spoken in a different way in us or uk or any other different countries it is spoken in a different way similarly marathi is the state language of maharashtra but different people from different regions from different parts of maharashtra use marathi in a different way they speak marathi in a different way that is called the dialects of the language for in marathi language there are three dialects that is ahirani malwani and varhadi are these are the three dialects of marathi language and marathi is the sta state language of maharashtra do you know in the olden days means of sending messages were not very advanced in those days information was communicated by different means sometimes trained pigeons were used for this purpose a message was sent by writing it down on a piece of paper or cloth and tying it tying the piece to the bird's leg what's the solution for this services like mobile phones telephones and computers are uh, not available in the area where rohan and rupali live they need to send a message to their relatives in another town how will you help them to send their message children can you suggest a solution for rohan and rupali yes there is a solution for them that is they can write letter and post the letter in the post box or in the post office and the letter will be dropped to the person to whom they have to send the message always remember recently there has been great development in the means of transport and communication however increased use of these means has also led to an increased in pollution therefore everyone should use them carefully what we have learnt the interrelationship between cities and villages means of transport and communication the need for means of transport and communication transport facilities and famous places in our district and taluka this is what we have learnt in this lesson children now let us have a short recap of the lesson which is the fastest mode of transport airways the slowest mode of transport is waterways a place where pl plane lands airport a place from where ship departs port a stop for trains a place where train stop station what is communication sending and receiving messages is called communication name the modes of transport the modes of transport are roads railways waterways and airways what are the means of airways that is aeroplanes and helicopters the means of waterways ships and boats and the means of railways that is trains means of roadways roadways we have many bullock cart horse cart automobiles vehicles bus auto rickshaw truck bicycle etc 
there is an airport at santa cruz yes here we come to the end of the lesson i hope you all have understood the lesson now children there are some revision questions which you have to copy in your rough book fill in the blanks there is a race course at dash mahalakshmi dash is the fastest mode of transport airways a dash is a place from where a ship departs port sending and receiving messages is called communication right true or false buses are the means of transport used on land true there is an airport in santa cruz true there is a fort at worli true an airport is a place from where a ship departs false ship departs from harbor or port standard 3 subject english grammar topic nouns nouns are naming words names of person place animal or thing are called nouns nouns can be common nouns and proper nouns common nouns are common names of animals birds and insects like lion tiger crow mosquito etc common names of places like hospitals schools banks common names of things like pencil eraser sharpener mobile phone chair table etc names of parts of the body like toes fingers head etc common names of trees fruits vegetables and flowers like mango tree banyan tree grapes apples vegetables like lady finger flowers like lotus and these are some of the examples of common nouns proper nouns are special names of people like riya raju rita etc special names of villages towns cities states countries and continents like china india asia europe cities like mumbai kolkata etc special names of mountains rivers lakes valleys seas and oceans example mount everest river godavari pacific ocean arabian sea special names of days of the week months festivals and special days like all the seven days of the weeks are proper nouns 12 months of the year are proper nouns festivals like holi raksha bandhan and special days like republic day independence day these are all proper nouns names of subjects books newspapers and magazines like subjects like english math cvs books like bhagavad gita quran the bible newspapers like times of india indian express and magazines like kids explorer junior explorer etc these are some of the examples of proper nouns now let us solve this exercise to understand more about common nouns Look at the picture and write as many common nouns as you can spot. Page number two of your grammar workbook. Children, observe the picture carefully. There are many common nouns given in this picture. Let us find as many common nouns as possible. When we observe the picture, first we see the gardener who is watering the tree. So, gardener is a common noun. Tree is a common noun. there is a bird on the window bird is a common noun window is a common noun when we come inside the room there is a spider on the wall S 
spider is a common noun. There is a calendar on the wall. Calendar is a common noun. The girl is reading the book. Girl is a common noun. Book is a common noun. Girl is sitting on the sofa. Sofa is a common noun. Cat is a common noun. There are many toys like helicopter, penguin. Pencil, pen, table, bed, pillow. There's a map on the wall. These are some of the common nouns which I have identified in the picture. If you can identify more common nouns, you can write it down. Gardener, toys, pencil, pen, book, table, cat, milk, pillow, calendar, map, spider, chair, bed, window, fish, etc. Page 3 of your grammar workbook. For each common noun given in the left column, write in the right column three proper nouns which fall in that category. Common noun, proper nouns. Some common nouns are given. Boys, girls, schools, cities, countries. Now we have to write three proper nouns of the same category. Example, boys. We have to write three names of boys. John, Vijay, Salim. It is given already. Now girls. Now we have to write three names of girls. Priya, Jane, Kate. Schools. St. Anthony Girls School. OLPS, Afac School. Cities. Mumbai, Delhi, Chennai. Countries. India, Australia, China. Rivers, Ganga, Krishna, Godavari. Mountains, Mount Everest, K2, Mount Kilimanjaro. Seas and oceans, Indian Ocean, Pacific Ocean, Arabian Sea. Languages, Hindi, Marathi, English. Cartoons. Donald Duck, Mickey Mouse, Mowgli. Board games. Chess, Ludo, Snake and Ladder. Newspapers. Hindustan Times, DNA, Times of India. Page 5 of your grammar book. The names of 10 characters from children's stories are hidden in the word grid. Find all the names, look for them left to right and top to bottom. The clues given are the brother and sister who were lost in the woods, the princess who ate a poisoned apple, the little girl who slept in the little bear's bed, the boy who never wanted to grow up, the boy who was only as big as a thumb, the girl who wore glass slippers, the boy who grew up with wolves, the girl who visited Wonderland, the girl who lived with her grandfather in the Swiss Alps. I am sure children you all know the names of the characters of these stories. Now let us find the characters in the grid. The brother and sister who were lost in the woods, Hansel and Gretel. So, Gretel we have to find. Yes. The princess who ate a poisoned apple. Snow White. The little girl who slept in the little bear's bed. Goldilocks. The boy who never wanted to grow up. Peter Pan. The boy who was only as big as a thumb, Tom Thumb. The girl who wore glass slippers, Cinderella. The boy who grew up with wolves, Mowgli. The girl who visited Wonderland, Alice. 
the girl who lived with her grandfather in the Swiss Alps. Heidi. These characters are all proper nouns. I'm sure you all enjoyed learning proper nouns and common nouns. Now children, complete your workbook. Lesson number one, nouns. Here we finish with our grammar. First topic, nouns.